Hey, it's a Jack-Jack here, and this is Batman, the Telltale series. Hey guys, welcome. This is Batman the Telltale series. Uh, this is an old game that's been around for a while, um, but I've had the, this sitting in my library for a while, and uh, I've always wanted to play these Telltale series um, just because I love like the story elements and I love the idea of like making decisions that will impact what happens later on the game and will be like a permanent change where like characters and NPCs will remember your decisions. I've always found that really cool, and I've watched like a few play, um, a few other um, content creators play these type of games, like one or two episodes, and it always seems really fun. But I didn't want to get too involved in it just because I didn't want to spoil the story for myself if I ever decide to play these games. So here I finally am with the Batman. I I, I know that there's um there's also the Walking Dead one, which is really popular. But again, these are like really old games. Or not really old, but like they've been out for a while. So um, the one I'm going to start with right now is the Batman one, uh, episode one. Let's do classic. Actually, I just want to make sure my settings. Uh, audio video. Let's turn this on. Okay, classic edition. Let's go. Episode one. I'm not sure how. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do like if I'm gonna have to do like an entire episode uh, for the like like one video per episode. I'm not sure how long these episodes are. I mean, they're gonna be a little bit long. Well relatively longer than the other stuff that I usually record, like the cycle, for example, but um, we'll see. I might just do this all in one session per episode, so hopefully this doesn't take too, too long. City Hall, 832. Hey, what are you- Whoa. I mean, most of us know that Batman is uh, fairly dark, especially like the most recent Batman stuff like the games the movies they've all been pretty dark but Get it open. I didn't I didn't realize that we were gonna see blood of this so I guess this is a little bit more he's gonna show bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. we'll be out of here before anyone can stop us more rated R maybe I don't know I like it Commissioner Gordon. Move in. The hell? Mark, get back. Gordon. They're on the fifty second floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait. Wait for backup. Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. From 
Where's the Batman? a second let me fix the audio here why is the uh music the music needs to go down a little bit okay let's see if that's any better i could barely hear them talking So compared to like the other games that I've, I'm used to playing, this game is obviously going to be, be a little bit more story driven. I'm going to have a little bit less control over what I do or what I can do. Seems like it's mainly these like quick prompts that I need to, I need to follow in addition to like that dialogue where you get to choose like what to say. So it's going to be a little bit limited that way. But again, this is mainly for the story, more for, uh, and less so for exploration. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! I'm also noticing on the left there that bat symbol. It's filling up as I complete these prompts. So I'm assuming that during these scenarios that you have to complete these prompts. And then when you get a certain amount of them completed. Um, like when it's filled up like that, I, I'm assuming that's when you succeed the, uh, the scenario. I think. Makes sense. Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. Arrest. If you want to be 
intimidating you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Ark. No one else can do the job. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. I wonder if, um... Because in the uh, the other uh, Batman games, the, like the Arkham Asylum, those games, they did a lot of like lore exploration. I wonder if they're gonna do the same with uh, the Telltale, or if they have done the same with the Telltale series. Because I love the lore, I love learn learning about the different uh, heroes and villains and characters. Though I'm sure everybody is familiar with like all these characters already. Because Batman's been around forever now, with all the movies and games. go to all that trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood what god damn it I said don't shoot no wait <laughs> I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Get 
Oh, she still has grapple. I was I was just about to say, like, she doesn't have a grapple usually. She's got like a whip. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Harvey Dent. This city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. I'm sure we all know who Harvey Dent really is. Because uh, with Mr. all the Wayne, pop culture references... Thank you for and, uh, opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. <laughs> ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. I put a dent in crime. Yes, right, please. Right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. So Not cheesy. That. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce oh, you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, Whoever you support is a reflection on you. Mm. And we trust someone like you nice to of lead Harvey. this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. 
The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, huh. Bobby. You gonna take that, Bruce? Golden age? Seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Depends on the man. It all That's depends right. on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. <clears throat> Batman. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> and don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Well, thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... You've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one. Personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. <sighs> Maybe he can change your mind. Uh, I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. I was hesitating a little bit there because I... know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I know who these people are. Take and I'm sure you guys do too if you guys are watching this. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And every one. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcone. 
Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I feel like I have enough You're knowledge of, uh, oh, I don't, ah, uh, fine. Bruce Wayne, I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Oh, dang. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I feel like I know enough know, about the uh, My analysts say the Batman universe. That... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, I don't want to spoil guys. anything, Bruce. and I kind of have to like answer a certain way. There, I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you. <laughs> what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationships. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to be in a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham, for our city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. I don't want to trusting a friend to know what's best for. Obviously, him. I don't want him involved with uh, the Falcone ridiculous. family, but I'm just hoping to get onto like Harvey's good side. So then, like later on in the story, that at least we'll remember some good things about this, this conversation. You understand the situation and this dialogue. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting yeah, worked up over nothing. Uh, that was a bad one. Huh. Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. So I have no issue with making Falcone an enemy. It's just that I was trying to maintain peace with Harvey for as long as I can. But I feel like I could have made some better choices there.
I feel like I shouldn't have reacted with that last one about the uh, the father. I should have just kicked him out. It's me. Oh my gosh. That was just the intro. <laughs> Realm of Shadows. She was really after him. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the breaking. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water for the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at them. They're recommending people avoid the these are just character profiles. If you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for okay. this morning. Wait, do I have to go through? Wait, oh, I went through all of these. Where's the, uh, is this thing? Wait, where's the, uh... Where's the thing? Is that it? No, that's movie tickets. Where is... I was just using the code. Oh, here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. This <laughs> cursor. <laughs> Nearly fell off a building for this? Put it through here. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call no. police immediately. Where's the back computer? Mayor Hill's Gotham Gadgets. Make it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law data was data for her. Find out what was so important. Yeah, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. Only seven bedrooms? In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. I feel like you should probably have like 20 in this bedroom matter. down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Is 
This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't Very make sense possible. Yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> For the record, your father love despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. No, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I, I love Alfred. I gotta keep him on my good side. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <laughs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what? 20 years. Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still... It's wishful thinking, but... A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park. So again, Cobblepot, Oswald, another big name. I mean, it should be any surprise why I'll hold off in uh, any aliases until uh, it's been revealed, just in case. Where are you, Oz? Oh, I do get to move around. Oh. Very limited amounts, but... Gives me a little bit of sense of control. What? 
Did I give him? Uh, thank you, sir. You, but no eyes. Graffiti, statue, plaque. Said Oswald said. Watch wallet cash. What this? Goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Oh, I failed that. Oops. Stay down! Yeah! <laughs> This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, That's rough. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now... I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city... Choose right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although. I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... 
It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. No kidding. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you. This kiss. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I wanna. I can't wait to get started. I wanna stay I'm on Cobble's Pot's good talks. side for as long as I can. Remains to be seen, don't it? But he sounds way more dangerous than uh, really Falcone. Which is way more dangerous. When this whole thing starts, even though he's supposed to be friends with Bruce, but myself. yikes. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Hopefully I didn't antagonize him too much there. I mean, what's gonna happen is gonna happen, but... <laughs> Try to mitigate as much as possible. So yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that's uh, Oz's dad? And his mom got committed to Arkham? I wonder if his mom is... Uh, a big name in the uh, Batman universe. I don't know too much about his family. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham mm -hmm. Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I felt like I had to choose that response since I instigated that, uh, that slogan. I'm, uh, Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. 
Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those uh, who need us most. We All right, who's up next? Oh, uh, I didn't there. like that response. Lane, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, uh -oh. Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How I didn't want to say the other ones, because I feel like it would have antagonized these guys as well. It would have made things worse. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Uh oh, are they coming from the back cave? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. Hmm. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Gordon knows that Hill's, uh, Mayor Hill's uh, corrupt as well. Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... 
don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The I don't think it's Falco. The fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Well, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. Scandal like this, I don't think it's Falco. I think it's, it's actually. Stream. I bet you it's and tonight, Oz. This scandal will Ozzy. be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record, right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Mm. If I say something, she might twist it around. Uh, but if I uh, on the record, uh, then. whenever you're ready. Mm. This story about my family is exactly that—a story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. So yeah, like You're I was saying, beat this, Bruce. I think it was Ozzy. Wayne's always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I bet you it's because he's uh, jealous or pissed off that his family went down. But then, like the the Wayne family is, is so successful. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. So I bet he's trying to like take him down or take the Wayne family down. Family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Wait, why would? Oh, the uh, the search warrant. Cafe Triste, Triste, Trist, Trist. A warrant. What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I I don't think it's Falco. Out. It keeps giving me the option to say it's Falco, but I don't think it's him. Oh, God, what a mess. 
Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Mm. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Is that... Oh, it's the Catwoman. She knows it. He knows it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. They must suspect each other. It sounds so obvious. They're not even trying to hide it. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this... because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for... They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. 
If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce, seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. So, I mean, it's very obvious that they, like, even early in the, uh, even early in that conversation, that dialogue, they knew that they were each other, you know, Batman and Catwoman, but how, just, just from looking at Bruce, just from that scratch, which could have been from anything, at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. as well as, it's what, quiet. like his grip, are you kidding me? <laughs> Stay on guard. It's some crazy deductions that they made. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? Wait, there's police here too. They must have raided the area. The pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, nice. We get to do some detective work, too. Chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Psychoactive the scarecrow? Nothing left to bury. Oh, that doesn't explain that. Exploded remains. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. What happened to the canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. More with the mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day.
Wait, can I... Oh. Oh, I thought I had to link more stuff. I guess I just open it up. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Ooh. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Maybe it's not the bullet. Maybe it's the shooter. Wait, let's link this to this. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm. Not all connected items will reveal valid theories. Break them. How do I break them? What else can I? Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Oh my goodness. Holy. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? So something was planted in his head. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, Bruce? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Wait, is this uh, blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh? This with these. The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? Must be Scarecrow, right? The nerve agent. Yeah. Could make them psychotic. There you go. Okay, that's that. Let's do this. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. This, let's connect to here. No, not that. See this thing. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay, so I'm sensing two references right now. One is the, uh, the Scarecrow with the Nerve Agent. And then I'm assuming Deadshot is the other one? Where can I connect this one to?
Wait, can I undo this? How do I? I already explored all of that scorch area. Okay, this has to connect somewhere. This must connect somewhere here. No? Am I wrong? Is there something that I missed? It's in Jerry Bullet. That's it. Have I not connected everything already? Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay, so that and that. Oh, I guess that if I find like the successful links, then I can't undo the links. Someone drove off after the explosion. Because when I got it wrong earlier, it let me like reset it or use the, uh, yes. the link point. There we go. Took a little bit longer than expected, but finally got it. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Okay, next box. I bet you it's none of these three. It must be somewhere else. If, I mean, if it's, if it is dead shot, you probably shot it from like another building and then <laughs> miles away. For a spike. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Your vantage point. There we go. There goes yeah, my theory. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Out the window. Hmm. <laughs> Killing time. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Wait, that he would have found him. Died? Work. We just decide to have a sleep? What? <laughs> Why would he stick around? My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony! Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find him! You trying to scare a confession out of me? 
I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> I haven't decided what type of Batman I want to be yet. I'm not sure if I want to be the True type. What they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Through intimidation, through like physical violence. Whatever <sighs> it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. But this is like this does seem like pretty rated R, so. No, not the face. Ribs. Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I almost forgot the reason that Batman's here is because... <laughs> uh, I start here. I almost forgot that he was here because uh, he was here to like help deal with uh, the Catwoman's... A weapon! That hard know. drive. Falcone said he'd use him soon. Used where? That's all I know. Oh. I swear, I swear. Oh, don't I do told it. told you everything I know. Don't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> it's too gruesome. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. We're going to call the coroner. I feel like, uh, I feel like, I feel like he needs to go. There's going to be too much under misunderstanding if uh, he's stuck around. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The Batman. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Yeah, you see? Non-violent approach. Okay, I guess... I mean, he's gonna have to be violent to some you extent, but I guess just... But you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Just not through brutality. He wasn't beaten half to death. No way. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> what? Next time, it might be the morgue. He didn't even... Especially now, He just twisted his arm a little bit. He didn't even hit family. him. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. But this is an ongoing dynamic. You're Him a and good Alfred. Man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. You see it all the time in like movies and other doddering old fool like the TV the series. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. I couldn't tear up those well those tickets. Back into the fray again. That that would have been so insensitive of him if I if he did that. Uh, back computer. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding. 
more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Hmm. Falcone's been involved in everything. I don't think he's taking down Falcone. I don't think they're back working years. together. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I feel like blackmail. I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Actually, you know what? He could have been working for Falcon, but why would he have all those like pictures? No, he must be. He must be trying to blackmail this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. Mm. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help I most. don't trust Vicky or just yet. Good. I mean... Uh, Gordon isn't commissioner yet. He's still a lieutenant, so he might be under some pressures from, like, the higher-ups. Vicky Vale, I feel like it's very easy for her to twist things around, especially as a reporter. I feel like James Gordon the cops are on the front lines of this is a safer bet. Gordon needs this more than anyone. Although, like, I mean, basically the entire GCPD is corrupt. Probably still at this point, especially at this point, before Gordon became a commissioner. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. Either way, I bet this like both options would have been bad. But everywhere, a dense web of goons poised to trap the lesser him. evil, I guess. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This, this is a silver bullet, and it's going to put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I got to know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. It's true, it's not smoke. I cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this... That's a good thing. ...isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or justice. daggers hidden in your closet. Justice. Until we find uh, nothing, though, justice. I gotta play bad cop. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. It's fine by me. Understand, I'm bound to this badge. Wayne might not agree, but I'm absolutely okay with that. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. I have. Thanks, I have Bruce. expected Bruce Wayne to just like oh, disappear the way that Batman usually does. Hey. Stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, 
Oh, no way. That's amazing. Skyline Club, 919. Man, I love Batman and his gadgets. Alright. So cool. Let's find Falcone. Get more detective work. Falcone. Third point of entry. Okay. Other stuff up here. Can I wait? Where that? Where that thing go? There's something that I could interact with here. Can I? Where's Nikki? In lockup again? Christ, Kimmy! What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. <laughs> wait, wait, there's something else over here. Oh, wait, let's see what this is first. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. This is a vent. Sec oh, security cam. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Mm. I said this is going to be a big uh, fight scene coming up soon. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Oh, Batman. Nothing here. What? Are you sure? That looks pretty important. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. What's the plan of attack? Attack. Where's that from? That, that's a movie reference, right? A couple of options for taking this guy down. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, please. Wait, can I? Yes. Okay. Oh yes. There's one. This is amazing. I love this. Um, there's a monster here. Coffee table, folding screen. I mean, I feel like folding screen is not going to do very much damage. But I would like to see this happen. Actually, I wonder if there's a way to... Yeah, that's not going to do any damage. I wonder if there's a way to fail this, actually. Like, if there's an ideal way to do this. That's my favorite. No, that's the chore, man. Mobster. What can I connect you with? Pillar. See, that would do damage. Staircase. Yes. Yes. And then last one. There should be somebody up here? This guy? Is that guy a mobster? Oh, this, this guy? This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. Just... Just jump into it. Balcony? No. Upper balcony... Just push him off the edge. Though grappling up to, like, the floor above... Oh, that's too simple. Bruce, Maybe I should have grappled him up to the, you formulated to the top. Your plan of attack? Let's do it. 
something going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Yes. I just want to see this play out. Hopefully, I do. oh, I do. I do have to do some. Uh, yeah. I was hoping to be able to just like sit back and enjoy this. Oh, this is my favorite. This is gonna be my favorite one. Come on. Oh, that looks heavy. Oh. <laughs> There's a ton more fights, it looks like. Oh no, I, oh no, I missed that. Oh, I missed that too. Oh, it's too fast. Oh. I don't want to fail this. Oh, one more, one more. One more successful thing and I can complete it. Oh, yikes. Okay, I've completed it, I think. I think I can still fail, though. I think I can, uh, can draw my progress if I, if I continue failing. It should be good enough, I think. Oh, did I? Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. Oh no! How about this one? I was pressing the uh, the left cursor, or not the left cursor, the uh, the left joystick. Oh, I wish I got that in one go. Now. You've got a lot to learn, kid. Whoa. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Explosives. That's another thing with Batman that I always find so funny. Like, the, he's always made fun of it, in like memes and stuff like that. But then he's always saying that he doesn't use guns. He's always like hand hand combat back and all his gadgets and stuff like that. Oh no no! Ah, oh, didn't want to do that. I just want to knock away his weapon. Answers now. You would Oh. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bat. <laughs> oh, is that Vicky Vale? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, alright? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Mm. Ah. That white rose must be planted then. So so maybe maybe it is a Realize. Rest. Yeah, so maybe the maybe the uh, white rose was planted. So may, maybe it is us, uh, Cobblepot. Spill 
what, Balcony? While you still can. <laughs> it's... The Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! So what I was saying earlier about Batman and the memes and stuff like that is that like they always make fun of him because he he prides himself of not like using weapons, I guess. Like he has his gadget and stuff. He doesn't fire use guns. Smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, and he says he doesn't Skyline kill people, Club, a mafia but he's always using like explosives and like the arena uh, it's, it's very rock. Batman alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50 story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view, though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest. And evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And I doubt that. Newly I mean, I aliens, hope so, but I doubt this that. Brings me to the story everyone is talking about. He'll probably be out in like a week. Family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. And uh... the city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation that a skip? called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. No. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. Uh -oh. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. Oh, he's pissed. This entire cave. Let's get you something rash. Oh no. I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I. What have you been hiding from me? No, Alfred. Alfred! No, don't be that mad at him. Alfred's a good guy. Realm of Shadows, episode one. Man. Yikes, I, I hate that dynamic. Like, like I love I love Alfred so much. But I hate it every time I read in comics or like see in movies and seri the TV series and then video games. Whenever uh, the Bat or Bruce Wayne, rather, whenever Wayne and Alfred fight, it just breaks me up inside, breaks my heart. Because I love I love their their relationship so much, but then they're always like it's always being pushed to the test. Every time, like Wayne has. Uh, Every time he comes comes upon like these dilemmas that he has to make, and then it kind of pushes his boundaries. And then Alfred's always like the the word, the uh, voice of wisdom. Man, so so that's that's episode one. This took a while to uh, to record, and I feel like this is something that I can't really cut out clips. I mean, I could if I get stuck doing some like investigations or stuff like that. But even then, I feel like there's too much story involved here for me to actually cut out anything. 
So I feel like I'm just going to leave it the way it is um, for the most part. And so because of that, it's going to be just be like one long video. And I think it's probably probably for the best for these Telltale series, especially if I'm going to do it by like episode by episode. I'm probably not going to break up like, you know, episode part one or something like that. I'm probably just going to do an entire video for an entire episode as long as they stay in this length. If it ends up becoming longer than this, then I'm probably going to have to break it up somehow. But that was uh, that was good. I, I actually didn't check ahead of time to see how many episodes are in this uh, this Telltale series with uh, the Batman. I know there's like one more Batman Telltale um, game. I'm trying to remember the name right now. I can't remember. But I, it came out after we're, after all of these episodes. So um, maybe I'll play that afterwards. I also have the. Um, the Walking Dead series that uh, I might give a, I might decide to play one day, but I'm gonna have to get through this series first. Uh, I do want to finish this to end, just because I really want to see like, like like I said, I love the lore of Batman. I love the story. I love like the characters in it. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more brutal than the other Batman games, but it's uh. It's fantastic. I love it. I love how dark... I love how dark the Batman universe is. So anyways, I'm going to end when this here. Parent. I'm going to stop that there. So anyways, I'm going to... I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. And I will see you guys... Next time. Bye!